Hi, I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News. This is ICOs This Week, a weekly overview of what's upcoming and interesting in the world of initial coin offerings. Now, just remember, this is just an opinion piece and an overview. And if you do wish to invest, you need to do your own due diligence. This week we have Doc, powering data for the professional world. Viola, artificial intelligence love coaching. Kolu, local currency to support local business and World Peace Coin solving the world's problems. One billion DOT tokens being offered for crowd sale on February the 21st. The whitelist opens on the 8th of February and the hard cap is $20 million. The business concept quite simple, one universal DOC, one storage place for your personal data and information, which can then be released out to other social media channels such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Telegram, Reddit, you name it. You own it, you can keep it accurate, you can transfer your reviews, reputation. The team is really impressive. They've got great experience across the IT sector and startups. They've got the confidence of institutional money already pumped into this one earlier. Uh, they're also working on remote.io. They've got really good partnerships going. They've got smart recruiters. They've got the fund request community. They're getting traction. It's a really attractive prospect for me in the short term and for a good long term prospect. There is a danger they could overcommit, but I think they can handle that. They need to get traction on both sides of the equation, but the team is up to this. I reckon this one's got legs. I reckon this one is a good bet. It's all about love on the blockchain today. They were going to launch on Valentine's Day, but now they've been put back to March the 14th. The soft cap is $1 million. The hard cap is $12 million. The team is from Singapore. They're aiming at the Asian market. They want to use the blockchain to protect your data, to verify your data, and make sure everybody who is who they say they are, which obviously in the dating game is quite important. Then they have the artificial intelligence love coach, which will sit in your mobile and help you through all those awkward situations. They have a long list in the white paper, break up grievance strategy, helping the modern divorcee back into the dating game, uh, follow up texting behavior, but thank God no sexual device yet. Then they have the crowdsource knowledge where if you get to a really awkward point in your relationship or a problem, you can offer it up to the crowd and they can either offer you their knowledge or vote on a solution. You can insert your own joke at this point. Uh, it all looks pretty good. They're getting a lot of publicity. Everyone wants, one wants to write about love. It's really good in my opinion for a short-term flip. Long-term prospects, I'm 50-50 on this one. These guys from Israel, they have a really short crowd sale running through from February the 14th to February the 18th. The soft cap is 30 million and the hard cap is 50 million dollars. They've been around since 2014. They check out, the team's really impressive. They have product, they have income stream. It's all about local currencies. They want to launch numerous local currencies around the world underpinned by the CLN token. Now, how they do it, they've already launched two projects in England, the Liverpool Pound and the Camden Pound. It's all about leaky bucket economic models where one pound, one euro, one dollar spent in a local shop stays in the local economy, benefiting local businesses. It's very fashionable. People like to get behind it. It all stacks up. It's very solid. As a short term investment, I think it's very attractive. Looking at the longer term investment, I was a little bit worried by the token economics. I wasn't too sure how it works. I was looking at the... 30% of tokens being released in three years time and wondering what effect that might have. I got on the Telegram channel, I asked them, they weren't too forthcoming. They said there would be more information released in the next few days. So in summary, short term, really good. Long term, need to see a little bit more information. And honorable mentions go to World Peace Coin. Why? Because as usual, they're another super secure coin where we couldn't actually identify real people involved with it. They keep their identities hidden. Uh, they have a product. We can't see the product till after the ICO. And the concept was just so grand. They're going to bring alleviate world poverty and bring world peace. They have an AI machine that calculates how much you can lend somebody in a country like Myanmar. You give them the money, they lend it out. Everything's great. A little bit abstract, a little bit unbelievable. Way to go, guys. I'm Dave Young from CryptoCoin.News. This was ICOs This Week. Stay current, stay valid, stay tuned. Till next time.